What's up, fuckers? We're at Barber Motorsports Park for round seven. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Rachel's looking at me. Hey, what's up, guys? We're at Barber Motorsports Park for round seven of the Moto America series. We got my buddy Nick here to do a little bit of video for us this weekend. I've been slacking all year, but he's here. So, setup day, Thursday. Uh, guys, you know, unpacked the whole truck, set the canopy up, brought the bike out. I had a stupid crash on Sunday morning at New Jersey, which was only four days ago. Went out on the bike for the race and it felt a little weird. So they're gonna go over the bike, make sure everything's straight, you know, check over everything. I'm sitting here kind of pretending to help, wipe down what I can, but mainly just talking to Donnie, shooting shit. So gotta go over all my gear, make sure everything's ready for tomorrow morning. And then later on, we get to go to a new station uh, at five o'clock and do a little interview for the weekend. Oh, hey there. <laughs> so I've been racing professionally now for like, 14 years but this year a couple races ago Rachel and I decided to get this little bag I'll wear my helmet wear my gloves but she'll bring water bottles my hat ice pack for my neck on the grid just like stuff that we need on the grid or in practice she's always carrying it in the helmet bag but then it's just always confusing so we got this little bag I just went to Bass Pro Shops and got this uh, tackle box basically but we fill it with stuff that I need on the wall instead of having it scattered all around so this is just all my nose trip stuff, um, all the intake, intake breathing stuff. Um, put this nose strip, one of these, on my nose to to help with the breathing. It kind of uh, pulls apart my my nose so I can breathe a little bit better. Got earplugs, put my ring in here and stuff. Um, just kind of lets us be kind of ready on the go. Donnie. Meet you two. Oh, oh great. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie's the one of the mechanics on the team. Ask him anything you want. Josh obviously crashed this past Sunday, right? Yeah. What do you have to do to kind of prepare for the next race? Uh, yeah, so basically after the crash and morning warm-up, we uh, fixed what, you know, immediately needed to be fixed. The clip-ons, uh, stuff like that, clean everything up. And then, uh, you know, so today, just knowing that I did those things, take it all back apart and have more time to grease everything and make sure all the adjustments are made. Um, right now, we're just gonna check on the motor too. Um, just do some checking on the internal stuff to make sure we're still good for, you know, for another weekend. All right, guys, so we're at, uh, what is it? NBC, ABC, NBC? I do an interview with NBC, one of those two. Hey. This morning we did, what did we do this morning? CBS? I don't know if they're gonna let us bring the camera in, but we uh, we don't always get asked to do the new stuff, but every now and then we do. So kind of neat, jump all over it whenever we can, because good for the sponsors. We haven't been up at the front this year, so we haven't got a lot of TV time, so if we can get something on the news, it's good. We'll see if they'll let you guys come in. I right, went to the wrong building for here now though. ABC. ABC interview. Live report. With Rachel Heron. Oh, I don't have a mask. Shit. That would have sucked. Imagine we came all the way here and I didn't have it. Hey y'all. Hello. How you doing? Good, hey, how are you? Come on in. Can we bring him in with that or no? Well, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. cool. Uh, okay. I'm Jeff Spiegel. Josh, nice to meet Josh, you. Josh, very nice to meet you. that I run on the track, I 
take these nose pieces out. Every helmet makes them. I can't stand them. They're good for the street, but when I'm riding on the track, I want my my viewport to be as big as I can possibly get it. Whenever I get this nose guard on there, it blocks my view. So I take that off. I also take this off. It's good for noise and you know maybe good for the street, but I want more air coming in there if I can. And I also take these off, which sometimes are kind of hard to get out. And make sure that yours is supposed to come out. I don't know if I can get it out. Sometimes I just gotta rip it out. I take that out too. Uh, I don't like the way that this, like I said, every, all this is good on the street, but there's a reason why they make it removable. Uh, this stuff, it just feels like it kind of gets jammed up or stuck uh, on my neck. So whenever I'm going through the corner, you know, trying to look through, it feels like it, you know, kind of restricts my movement. So I take all that stuff out. We watch you on YouTube every night. Really? <laughs> yeah, we nice. watch the races and stuff. Do you ride? Only on the back of mine right now. Yeah. Mom won't let us get a dirt bike just yet. Oh, that's so. all right. Yeah. yeah. the nose clip you just put these magnets on each one of your you know nostrils on the sides of your nose in case you didn't know what those are and then this has a magnet on it hopefully it's not crooked because I'm look like a dumbass if it is <laughs> but it separates my nostrils so you see and then I put this on you see a difference on camera yeah finished FP1 here uh, today on Friday. Um, we had a lot of problems with the electrical at the beginning of the session that we, that I felt like we had at the Barber test whenever we came back here in March. Uh, just wasn't comfortable on the bike. I, I knew something was going on now though because I have time on the bike where in March it was my first time on the bike so I didn't really know what was going on but since we got a lot of time on the bike and coming off a good weekend like New Jersey I knew something was funky. felt like the, the sector so you know the, uh, where Steve puts in, you know, some electrical stuff so the bike knows where it's at on the track, make changes in certain sections of the track. It felt like the bike didn't know where it was on the track, and that ended up being what it was. So Steve made some changes, got the thing working really good. And we were able to do one change uh, to the front or the rear with the suspension, which helped us a lot at the end of the session. Ended up getting us in P5 and and uh, getting up to speed pretty quickly. So we're, you know, within a second of the front guys, which I'm really happy about. I feel like I uh, got a lot of confidence going into the second session, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Bueno. We, uh, we had a good 
first session, um, and uh, guys decided to go and want to do a shock change. I was against it, then I talked with them and kind of thought, okay, it's worth the try. But I feel like every time I do good, it doesn't matter. In years past, it's like every time we have a our good result, people always want to try and get it a little bit better instead of just you know it, the goal is to always improve but when we're really comfortable on the bike it's better to just leave it and make small little changes versus doing a big change that then just kind of mess the whole session up of course you want to you know try things and see if they're better but there's a certain time for it and you know it's it's not Super Bowl we have one more qualifying session tomorrow but I'd like to be up front a little bit closer we had a big moment um, coming down one of the hills, rolled off the throttle. It's on the throttle, third gear, wide open, came over the rise, rolled off the throttle. The rear stepped out, threw me off, and uh, you know I was able to hold on, but ran off in the grass and, and uh, almost almost hit the wall. Um, so came back in, uh, put the shock back in, the original shock, and, and uh, you know, it was a lot better. So. Super Stock 1000 race on the Moto America Live Plus app. Pretty sick. I could just sit in here and watch this live, watch the start, see what these guys are doing. Their pace is pretty similar to mine, so I use it to kind of, kind of, uh, you know, see what the track's like, see what, see what tire choices are. Uh, if you're at home, it's a good app too. You download it, watch us live. I think there's probably like, you know, the whole weekend pretty much is live on here, so you can, it's like you're here. You don't even need to be at the track. It's great. Download it. If you're if you're stupid, then if you're not stupid, you'll download it. <laughs> Can't think of anything to say. Rachel, what do you think about the app? It's great, except you gotta listen to Bobby Floyd. Huh? What does it feel like to have a magnet on your nose? Probably similar to what it feels like when people put their balls on your face. Sweaty. Rachel said sweaty. How <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> heavy? <laughs> you gonna win today? <laughs> yeah, Nick. <laughs> That's a good question. Trying to get a start. Finished um, the morning warm up on Saturday and uh, Super Bowl session. In the morning warm up, I um, messed my ribs up. It was something that happened at the beginning of the year. I had the high side on the ovale. Messed my ribs up. It was doctors think it was an intercostal tear. So whenever I crashed, it damaged it, but it wasn't too painful. And then I had a weird movement at home, and it separated the rib from the muscle or from the tissue, whatever it is. And uh, when I crashed in New Jersey, it, I felt it started that process again. And then in the middle of the morning warm up today, uh, I just went to muscle the bike into a, into a corner and it, it happened again. So riding around with, with the ribs messed up a little bit. Um, Super pole was, was okay. We ended up, I think, seventh. Um, did our best time of the weekend, but just uh, not able to go as fast as other guys were going. Uh, it's been a frustrating year, lots of ups and downs, but mainly just feel held back. I feel like I, sh I should be fighting up at the front with these guys. I feel like I'm riding better than I have in my whole life, but I um, just can't keep up with them. So it's frustrating because it's hard to stay motivated going into the race, but you just got to dig deep and, and, uh, and fight for it.
Fong rides around the outside of him in turn two with Kyle Wyman and Heron. Right off the bat, you can see Heron gets bucked up out of the seat. That's going to allow Camp Peterson to go past him. All right, so we just finished race one here at Barber. Um, pretty terrible. <laughs> we uh, been running the same compound tire all weekend. For some reason in the race right now, I did two, two or three laps at the beginning that were pretty good. We were right. I got a bad start, but we were right behind uh, Elias Wyman uh, and that group right there. For some reason, turn two, the thing just skated around all of a sudden on like the third or fourth lap almost high sided me out of the seat. Whenever I landed on the, the seat, messed my ribs up again, but they weren't, it wasn't crazy pain. I could just feel that it did something though. But from that point on, you know, it was, the tires were just gone. I don't know what it is. Race one at New Jersey and race one here, same exact thing. Whatever happens, my tires dropped off two seconds and not able to go any faster. So um, it's a bummer for sure. I just kind of nursed it in. And hope that tomorrow is better. The uh, guys are gonna go over the data tonight and see if they can see anything. But uh, yeah, just unlucky few uh, races. So try to try to dig deep and find some motivation for tomorrow. But right now I'm pretty bummed. So hopefully tomorrow is better. All right, so we uh, been sitting here for a couple hours now, trying to figure out what we're gonna do to the bike to make it better for the race, and decided to drop the whole thing down and basically go back to what we had in Pittsburgh. I had uh, good results at Pittsburgh, and we uh, you know, time difference right now from where we're at to the next two spots, three spots in front of us is a really big gap. And we're kind of confused on what to do, so we're just gonna make a big change and go for the same settings we had at Pittsburgh and hope that it feels good. on that BMW. Alright, just finished race two here at Barber. Um, I'm happy but bummed at the same time. We uh, you know, had a pretty bad start, uh, but the changes that we made to the bike were really good. Uh, with the bad start, it kind of set us back a little bit. Caught back up, um, felt comfortable, but then hit a false neutral off the back straightaway and ran off the track into the gravel, cut across the other side of the track. Was happy not to hit anybody coming back on the track. And then went, basically where I ran off, it cut across onto the other, through the track onto the other side where the gravel and grass were. So lost a ton of time. Um, not too happy about that, but we were able to crawl back up to sixth. Um, so I'm happy with, with the finish. Happy to, basically just happy to finish and, and have the bike improve a little bit, but bummed about the false neutral for sure. Um, overall was, was a pretty bummer weekend, but we're coming out of here uh, you know, healthy. Got a little time for the ribs to heal and uh, hopefully have a good one to Indy. Um, so yeah, thanks to the team for all the hard work. Thanks to Moto America for uh, sponsoring us with the Live Plus stuff. Um, you know, as we said earlier, Live Plus is really good good app to have. I use it to watch all the races. I can go back and watch them whenever I want. If you haven't uh, downloaded it, make sure you go check it out and, and uh, catch up on all the racing for the year. And uh, yeah, appreciate the support. Appreciate you uh, watching the video and see you next time.